Hi everyone, Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen, and we have a pleasant surprise today. Paul, my husband, is going to show us how to cook artichokes, and I'll show you a little bit later how to make two dipping sauces. This is his expertise, so I'm going to pass the microphone over, and I'm going to videotape him. Hello, I'm Paul from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen, Kathy's husband, and today we're going to grill some artichokes. Um, quite a process, but we're going to walk you through it simply. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to steam the artichokes after we do some preparation work. Then I'm going to cut them in half and we're going to grill them. So first things first, um, the artichokes you want to look for is a nice globe artichoke. The seasons are spring and fall. We're in fall now, so they, they look pretty good. Kathy found these at the market. So these, these kind of these little hangers on, I call them here, you want to get rid of these ones. There's no really meat. And you don't see meat in here. For those of you who aren't familiar with artichokes, we'll show you later how to eat those. I'll eat these, I should say. But... Let's get rid of all the little pieces here. And then one thing we do, this is, this is, there's the heart of the artichoke, which is my favorite part. It's wonderful. And the stem actually is an extension of the heart. So you kind of want to get rid of some of that uh, hardness on the outside of the skin and expose the heart. So we're going to do that. The stem, what do I call it? Well, the heart is part of the stem. Okay. So we got that done. We're going to chop off a little bit of the end here too. So you can see in here that's kind of part of the heart, that light colored part. One thing important with artichokes is they oxidize very fast. So to pre prevent that, they'll turn brown. They'll, they'll not be bad. It just looks bad. We're going to add some lemon juice to that. So that's the first part. The second part is we're going to take about a maybe a half inch to an inch off of the top of the artichokes. I will do that now. The nice sharp knife helps. And kind of give it give some separation in here and you can see same thing applies here we're gonna to have to add some lime lemon to prevent the oxidation now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around this and cut off these tips they, they fly in the air Kathy loves it because she finds them like several days later I do. but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay I prepped both artichokes just to save some time here but you can see the uh, the stem has been um, what's the word shaved and removed a lot of the little insignificant pieces that go down there. Um, cut the top off. And this purple piece you see down there, it's part of the choke. You'll see that later in the process that we want to get rid of that. But we're going to put these in the steamer now. But to add a little flavor, we like to add a little bit of um, lemon juice into the into the pot. Tough lemon here. But. He's really hard. Um, oh, yeah. He's tall, so his head's cut off. Yeah, by the way, when, when Kathy, we're, the reason we're over here is because Kathy's under this light normally which obviously I can't be under the light, so I, so I took this spot. So I'm also going to do a clove, clove of garlic in there just to add a little more flavor to the broth. Drop it in there. Nice and yummy. I love your apron. Thank you. Present for my daughter. And now we're going to put two artichokes in, and I've got a nice steaming basket here with, a, with water underneath. It's really hot. You don't really need this. You could put a little bit of water in there. I'm sorry. You could put a little bit of water in there and just steam them normally. This, this tends to work better. So we're going to put the two artichokes in, and we're going to steam them for about, stem up, we're going to steam them for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And you'll notice when it gets really tender and the, the leaves pull off really easily. I just wanted to be able to see it. So and one thing I also want to do is keep an eye on the water level because you don't want that water running out. So... We're going to let that steam for about 30 minutes and we'll come back. While the artichokes are simmering and steaming, I'm going to make two different sauces. One of my favorite sauces to make is a lemon basil sauce that is just to die for. You need a blender for that one. You need one half cup of basil and you want a lot of it. It's got to be firmly like into the measuring cup and you want to put that in a blender. You need a quarter cup of almonds, blanched almonds, a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of white vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup. You want to get all of it out of there. One clove of fresh garlic and one and a half lemons.
I'm going to put the top on. It is delicious on a salad. I like it on baked potatoes. I love it with artichokes. It's just fabulous. Okay. That is sauce dipping number one. And we're going to put that in the refrigerator while those um, artichokes are cooking. And Paul's going to grill them. The second sauce, let me move this out of the way, does not require a blender. It does, however, require more lemon, so we have to clean that up. Okay, this is just a traditional lemon garlic aioli, but it's vegan. So I have one half cup of my cashew mayo that I make. You can use your own vegan mayo, whatever you want. You put that into a bowl. And you need a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And two cloves of garlic that I minced. And I think Paul likes this kind better, so I make both kinds. So I can eat my sauce and he can eat his, and then I can use that for salad later in the week. And we need, again, it's upside down again. We need a lemon and a half in here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to stir this all together. And actually, I'm going to get a whisk out because that would be better. You want to whisk it all together until a lovely sauce is formed. And it will thicken up a little bit in the refrigerator. And we're going to cover these and put them in the refrigerator so they're ready and cold on time for the artichokes to be done. Okay. Artichokes have steamed for about 30 minutes or so. Um, and just a side note, bigger artichokes may take a little longer than 30 minutes. These were about right, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of the artichokes out and they're super hot. So we're just gonna test them for doneness at this point. So uh, ways to tell, two ways to tell are one are kind of poke in the center and it should, your fork should just go easily in there. And another way is you can, these things will pull off very easily like that. So that tells you that they're done. So at this point, before I, next step, we're gonna cut these in half, take the unedible choke out, we're gonna let them cool so we, so we don't burn fingers. Okay, artichokes have cooled to the touch. They're still a little warm, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut directly through the center of the artichoke. It's very easy because of the steam we had. Now, this is the part I was telling you about this choke. It's called the choke, believe it or not, artichoke. And if you eat it, you'll choke. So best way to get it out of there is with a spoon. You kind of get below it. And just scoop that whole center portion out. All unedible. Is that a word, unedible? Okay, that's one. Yep, a little extra there. I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm gonna do okay, at this point, I removed those chokes out of the artichokes. And you can eat these at this point if you wanted to, but we kind of like them with the grilled flavor. So if you go online, they're going to tell you add a bunch of olive oil at this point. You really don't need it. Actually, you don't really even need this, but we're going to put some lemon juice on there. Just so it can taste yummy. And also add a little garlic salt. Is this garlic salt? Little garlic salt. Maybe some pepper. And then I'm going to take them out to the grill. And we'll grill them for about eh, 10 minutes, maybe five minutes on a side, just to give it the grill flavor and the nice grill lines. So we'll see you out there. Okay, we're at the grill. Grill's heated up. We're going to put them on. Uh, we're going to start with them face side down. So let's give them those nice grill lines. And then we're going to flip them in about five minutes and let them get that nice grill flavors. And then Kathy's going to show you how to eat them. Okay. Artichokes have been grilled on both sides sufficiently. You can see the grill marks on there. And whoop, they are now done. We're going to bring them into the house. Okay, it looks good to me. So how you eat this, this is, you can eat the stem is edible, and this is the heart in here. But what you do is you eat it from the outside in. So you're going to take the leaf, and I like the basil sauce, so I pick that kind. And you literally use your teeth. Mmm. And they're all 
the artichoke made off. And then, of course, you have a little discarding um, bowl. And he did good. I don't know how to do these. He does them better than me, so. Yummy? Mm, it's a 10. See you next time. And Paul will be back as a guest.